Hello, Smart Robot Review fans. On today's episode, we're looking at the Pi Crawler, a quadruped by Sunfounder. There's a lot to know about this robot, so let's roll the intro. Hello everybody, this is Elias, and welcome back to Smart Robots Review, where we talk about robotics, space exploration, and fantastic tech from around and out of this world. And yes, it's great to be back and on the brand new Smart Robots Review studio, here to review this robot, the Pi Crawler. And you saw correctly in the intro, this robot was demonstrating what a proper push-up exercise should look like. There it goes, the Pi Crawler, the all-aluminum, insect-like robot that some might say it was designed by aliens and sent here to distract us from robotic mediocrity. <laughs> At the very least, it will impress some of you, like it has me, it has definitely many skills. For starters, facial recognition capability, color recognition, it can follow an object, avoid obstacles, QR code detection, real-time video transmission, it can play sound effects and even talk. Pretty impressive. I mean, just look at it. Especially impressive is this precise movement that you're seeing here. And all made possible due to the 12 motors, yes, you heard me cor correctly, 12 motors driven by a Raspberry Pi. And no, not an actual Raspberry Pi, P-I-E, like the kind you eat, but instead a tiny computer called Raspberry Pi and made by a company named Raspberry Pi. And now I want some pie. So at the heart of this robot is a Raspberry Pi microcomputer and an expansion board that work together to actuate or drive these motors. Notice the two circular objects in front of the Pi crawler. Those are ultrasonic sensors that with, with the proper programming can enable the Pi crawler navigate a maze, avoid obstacles or use creatively for other tasks. And notice right above the ultrasonic sensors, that tiny black square, that is actually a camera. A camera like that and ultrasonic sensors give robots, great robots, great awareness of their surroundings that help them complete their program tasks or even act autonomously. The question is, how does the Pi Crawler know how to mimic these movements? With proper programming, of course, Pi Crawler supports the Python programming language as it should, but even if you're not a coder, would like to start learning, or know enough just to be dangerous, SunFounder provides their EasyBlock app that, that's what you see here. This is something even a six-year-old can use to learn programming. It's all drag and drop, an intuitive graphical user interface that allows beginners to quickly master the basics of robotics programming and can provide remote control through, the, through a web interface. It is using basic block-based programming blocks that you can drag and easily customize. The app comes with samples that can be used to demonstrate the robot's capabilities and customize to bring it to the next level. More on this will be covered on our second episode. There's so much here for the Pi Crawler that I had to segment this series into three episodes. So on the second episode, we're going to be talking about the programming. And on the third episode, we're going to put it all together and we're going to talk about the assembly. But the most important takeaway is that you can start using Pi Crawler right away with the EasyBlock application. So what you see here is the EasyBlock app, which can be used as a remote control for your Pi Crawler. This is an actual view from the EasyBlock app running on my iPad. You see Elise and I here. We're seeing what the Pi Crawler sees using its tiny camera we talked about earlier. The blue box highlighting Elise's face is an indicator 
from the app that Pycrawler is detecting a face. Isn't that neat? Pycrawler's tiny highly resolution camera output is not bad, but it could turn out to be the unexpected Achilles heel. It struggled during tests to compensate with changing light exposure and sometimes with just letting enough light to interpret Game start. Looking for yellow. color correctly. So let's segue to demonstrate the Pycrawler robot's color detecting capability. Here, the Pycrawler starts out by first declaring in a robotic tone, game start. This is all in the program, of course. Looking for yellow. So right now he's looking for yellow. And in the background, I'm remotely maneuvering the robot to face each color until it detects the color yellow. Well done, it said, indicating that it found the correct color. So now that it located red, it started looking for color green. And this is where I discovered the pie crawler sometimes struggles to identify the color green. Uh, to get around that, I tried moving the robot back and closer to the green color card just to see if it helps the camera focus better. And there we go. Now it is looking for the color yellow. Nicely done. All right, now in this next demonstration, the pie crawler robot attempts to follow a card painted red. No one is controlling it. The pie crawler is hunting for the red card, and once the card is found, it will follow it autonomously. The distinct ping sound is programmed into the code. It can be customized. You can replace that with a different sound if you wanted to. Here's Steve, here's Steve. As a way to let us know that it sees the red card. It's pretty neat. So from this view, you're seeing what the pie crawler sees. And every time it looked at a color, it highlights it, indicating what type of color it is. So it will highlight green or yellow or green as it sees it. All right, so pie crawler comes in a kit from Sun Founder. Everything you need is in the box, except for you're going to need two 18650 rechargeable batteries and a charger. Also, you're going to need the Pi, the Raspberry Pi controller that, of course, is not included. So overall, you know, I think the price, it, it, it retails at 139 right now. You can find it on sale a little bit cheaper sometimes. But overall, I think it's a fair price for what you get. I wish the Raspberry Pi controller and the batteries were included. And here you're seeing the moments after uh, assembly. It's connected to a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor. And I was doing some testing following the calibration and the assembly. But um, overall, this is a fantastic robot. What a great robot for your classroom for the hobbyist or somebody who loves robotics and wants to explore something that's a little different from the norm, right? It has four legs. It's a quadruped. It's, 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 it's impressive and a lot of fun in its movement and what it can do. And at the heart of it is the Raspberry Pi controller. I mean, that is a full-blown computer with a lot of power there that can give your code life. And if you're not a coder, right? It, uh, it, it comes with the with the Easy Block application where you can drag and drop blocks and you can start there. The camera is pretty decent. Uh, I love the sensory input from that. Uh, I think it works fairly good in, in, in good light. Of course, ha it has the ultrasonic sensors, which you can use to write programs for the robot to avoid obstacles or use it in other creative ways. But overall, this is the Raspberry Pi Crawler. And thank you for watching Smart Robots Review.